What are the best games of this year? We left behind all our platform preferences as we went into hour-long debates. Friendships were shattered as we discussed which games made the biggest impact on us. Now, without much further ado, we present you the top 10 games of 2016. And if you don't agree, let us know in the comments. Almost every game gets a multi-platform release, but PC gaming is the place to be for proper strategy games. We have selected Civilization VI as our number 10 on the list, and it represents the fact that strategy gaming has been making an amazing revival. The turn-based strategy has taken dozens of hours of our time. Over the next few years, we're certain that DLC will add more to the game that's already huge to begin with. Now, how about one more turn? We test our limits. We face our fears. We rise to the challenge. We've waited 10 years on this game that was originally announced for the PlayStation 3. While you can still see its heritage in the graphics, the developers did a good job of making it look like a proper PlayStation 4 game. This is definitely the most realistic looking and behaving creature we've ever seen in gaming. The gameplay might be frustrating at times, but the wonderful atmosphere makes up for it. The Last Guardian tells a beautiful story and is truly a classic that stands proudly next to Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Get this off. Titanfall 2 finally lived up to the potential we saw in the first game. Its online multiplayer is great with massive titans and fast-paced pilot combat. And after the sorry excuse of a campaign in the first game, Titanfall 2 did it the right way. BT! Protect the pilot. The campaign is just what this series needed by offering a story about the relationship between a pilot and his Titan. Titanfall 2 is such a huge improvement in every way possible that we just had to add it to our list. We just hope that EA will continue with this franchise despite the lackluster sales numbers. We've been waiting for years on a revival of the classic Doom series. Doom 3 always felt a bit slower and the 2016 version of Doom totally makes up for that. This first-person shooter is hardcore in every way imaginable. It's fast, it's brutal, it gets your heart pumping. As a space marine, you need to clear the station from a demonic invasion. You cut monsters up with your chainsaw or blow them to pieces with your massive guns. While the multiplayer mode is not as epic as a single player, it still has some good ideas like the easy to use level editor. Doom is a must play game if you call yourself a shooter fan. The seventh generation of Pokemon games kicked off this year. We're not talking about Pokemon Go, but about Pokemon Sun and Moon for the Nintendo 3DS. This role-playing game puts you in the shoes of a young Pokemon trainer with a dream. Even though that's the premise of every game in the series, this one does a lot of things differently. 
For starters, it's the first 3D original Pokemon game. On top of that, it adds 81 Pokemon, a new evolution, and the powerful Z move. Most of the battle and training mechanics have been updated. Some even call it the best game in the series. Millions of gamers have bought one or both new Pokemon games and we are sure many more will follow. Dark Souls 3 was the first new game to be released on PS4 and Xbox One, and boy, did we enjoy this one. The action role-playing game is super unforgiving, like we all know. You need to time your moves, stay calm and be patient, or you will die. But the rewards are huge, and the feeling of fulfillment is even greater. We know Dark Souls 3 is among the very best this year, and it earns its place in this video for sure. All pretty again. Take care of her, you hear? With Final Fantasy XV, we have another game that took 10 years to make. Thankfully, this open-world action role-playing game does not disappoint. You are Prince Noctis on a quest to save his country from the oppressor. The fighting system sure is a departure from the classic Final Fantasy games, but it is extremely well done. Bokto, you're up! Yeah. Ha, Biggie! My pleasure. Huh? I'm impressed. The storytelling and bonding between the guys are among the best the industry has to offer. The series stays true to its Japanese role-playing roots with deep systems for upgrading your characters. Final Fantasy XV is a great game that shows that the franchise is able to adapt in order to appeal to a wider audience. Every year, Battlefield and Call of Duty are fighting over the hearts of shooter fans. After EA dropped the ball with Battlefield Hardline, they made a strong comeback with Battlefield 1. The game is going back to its roots with historic warfare. World War I doesn't seem like the most appealing setting, but the game studio DICE managed to make it spectacular. Battlefield 1 feels intense in both single and online multiplayer. The unique weapons and vehicles of World War 1 add something special to the game. The incredibly large maps are beautiful and the destructibility reminds us of Bad Company. It's a game we still play every night even if it's only for a couple of rounds. Leave it to Naughty Dog to wrap up a franchise in the best way possible. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End is the farewell song for Nathan Drake and what a song it is. The action-adventure game delivers not only in gameplay but also in story, emotional depth and visual design. Uncharted 4 truly is among the best games any system out there has to offer. Before we go on to our number one game of the year, let's have a look at some of the honorable mentions that just missed out on the top 10.
you try and rip the world apart. Someone will always put it back together. Overwatch is our game of the year. The team-based shooter by Blizzard Entertainment is incredibly addictive and we love almost every one of the 22 different characters. The diversity of characters makes the game appealing for gamers who are not that much into first-person shooters. This is strength. You're covered. Thanks, the competitive mode is fun for hardcore gamers, while the arcade mode adds all kinds of fun for the more casual player. We're sure Blizzard will do everything in its power to make sure that Overwatch will be the biggest team-based shooter for years to come. I pray to win! One for my highlight reel! What game do you consider the best game of the year? Let us know in the comments and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Papa's down on the dock. Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski daddle. Got a garage to look after.